So I wanted to talk about delegation this morning. Um, it, it seems to me, you know, has anyone ever watched the show Hoarders? Just maybe by accident, if any, I mean, like just curiosity. You're like, what the hell? Because it, it's on all the time, seems like, you know, and if you've ever watched it, it's, it's like watching a, a, a car wreck. It's just like you don't want to watch, but you can't help but watch. And you just like, these people, like they, the houses, the conditions they live in, and it's just nuts. But, you know, when I was watching the show one day, and they were trying, some people go willingly and they purge all their stuff and whatnot. Um, but some people do not go willingly. I mean, like they're like flat out, like clinging to things as they're being dragged out of the house. They're trying to physically barricade the door to prevent the stuff from coming out. And I mean, it's, it's tragic to watch. And, you know, I saw that and I thought, you know, that's how most small business owners are when it comes to be, work being done in their office. Y'all are hoarders, right? I mean, like, be honest. It's, it's like, you know, they, you, you know nobody can do the job as good as you can, right? And like I said yesterday, being a business owner and having even just one employee on the payroll puts you in the 1.7% of all human beings walking around, less than 2%. So you are a rare individual. You are wired differently. You are smarter than the average bear, if you will, right? You're more ambitious, you're more driven. And so then when you start, like if you're like me, when I started growing the business, you just, that's your world. It's like when you, if there was a fish in a fish tank and you asked the fish, how's the water? The fish would say, what water? You know, because they're, it's, uh, they're so used to being in it. And just as entrepreneurs, we're so used to just having ambition and drive and getting up and doing the right thing and trying to grow that, you know, when you hire people and they don't have that same ambition, you know, it's, it's like you get to this point where you say, oh, you know, screw it, right? You know, um, I, you know and that's why you, you need to hire one because this is kind of what you look like. You know, everything is piled on your back and you just... Um, you know, and then what happens is you end up hiring people and however you train them, delegate them, and you figure out that there's a whole bunch of limitations, things they're not doing well, you've talked to them, you think you've trained them, you've told them about, here's what I want you to do, and they're still not doing it right, and now you have to either babysit them, meaning you've got to keep checking their work and staying on top of them, and did you do this, and did you do that, and checking the work because you know that it's going to be all screwed up and so you just know there's dysfunction. You know, it's, so it's either you're babysitting or you're having to beg them to do the work. And that you can't run a business. That's no way to run a railroad. You, you can't run a business that way because all you're doing is expanding your workload and your cost. And I think the last Producers Club meeting when I sat on the Saturday sessions with everybody and I went around, I think the vast majority, if I had to pinpoint what the overriding problem was that people weren't even asking about, but it just came become glaringly obvious is that you're trying to grow your business. You're trying to add new clients. You're trying to upgrade clients. You're trying to expand and you're not hiring people to help you. So you're, you get into this, this feeling of, of being less than, or why can't I get myself to be more, you know, tight with my time or how, why can't I get myself to be more productive or maybe I need to get up at 5 a.m. or 4.30 when I went to bed at one o'clock in the morning because that's going to be the solution, right? You, you're, there's only so much you can do, right? You, there's only so far you can renegade your business. You got to hire people, but you can't just hire people because they can add to your misery. You got to hire the right people and you got to learn how to delegate. Delegate's the first step replacement is next, right? So like delegation is I still have to kind of keep an eye on you and I got to tell you and direct your work. But the next step really is replacement, right? Like Jeff has replaced me in running Producers Club. Mark has replaced me in running Accelerators. I, I mean, I'm involved, but I'm, but I'm not involved. Allison and Danny have replaced me on the Infusionsoft side. Like, I, I don't run that at all. If you ask me, I have never, here's a little truth, I have never sent an email out of Infusionsoft. If you ask me, I wouldn't have a clue. 
and that scares the shit out of me, and it makes me feel really damn good at the same time, right? Because I shouldn't have to know how to do that at this point, right? And that's part of where you got to know what to delegate and, and when you can trust somebody to actually replace you, all right? So that's why you have to, to delegate.